What's up guys? Hope everybody's doing really great. So, taking a walk right now and I wanted to take this opportunity to talk to you guys regarding all of the questions that I've been getting recently about what the best way to bodybuild on the go is. You know, so mobile bodybuild. I recently, as you guys might know, put out a video speaking about why I don't think the Max Pro is the best idea in regards to, you know, your mobile bodybuilding or even an at-home bodybuilding solution had a great response from it I'm glad everybody appreciated it I'm glad everybody understood where I was coming from in terms of why I would not recommend it if you haven't seen that video and you're interested in getting a max pro I recommend you check it out it might give you some good things to think about before you spend the almost thousand dollars on that machine after I put that video out I had a whole bunch of, uh, of the awesome people who subscribe to this channel hit me up and say Joe, well, if, if I'm not going to get the Max Pro, what would you recommend that I get? Should I get a tonal? Should I get a handy gym? Should I get those power blocks? You know, the, um, or, you know, any type of adjustable dumbbell set, you know, which I think are fantastic. So I just wanted to just discuss with you some of the things that you might want to think about in terms of your mobile bodybuilding, because honestly, guys, if you can bodybuild on the go, which is something that I do very often, I would highly recommend it. You're not missing a beat. You don't have to be at home, attached to your home gym. You have that freedom. So I recommend it highly. Let's get into it. All right, guys, so as you all might be aware, I personally love the Handy Gym. Now, I use Tonal when I'm at home. Love Tonal, absolutely love Tonal. It's an amazing machine. If you guys know about this channel, it's very likely you know about this channel because of all the videos that I've done in regards to Tonal and how it's helped me to change my life from home. Now, I say how it's helped me to change my life from home because I had to put in the work, guys. It's helped me to put the work in to be able to change my life. But keep in mind, if you buy a Tonal, it's not gonna change your life unless you use it and you're consistent, so just keep that in mind. There's been a lot of people in the past who've reached out, they've said, hey Joe, I bought the Tonal off your recommendation, and I've seen the results that you've got from it, and I think it's an amazing machine, but I haven't necessarily see seen the same results. Guys, you have to be consistent, and you have to know how to use it properly. So keep in mind, it does come down to effort on your part. That's a big deal. All right, so you guys know that I use the Tonal, you guys know that I love the Tonal and would recommend it. Now, before I purchased the Handy Gym, okay, all I had was the Tonal. I had sold every single piece of bodybuilding equipment that I owned. Sold it all, used the money that I made to buy a Tonal. I would never take that decision back. But I realized afterwards that I probably should have kept at least a set of dumbbells just in case the power went out or you know um maybe i'm going on a trip and now what am i going to use on my trip if i don't have a gym available or something along those lines right so i ended up um thinking okay i'm probably going to be getting adjustable dumbbells i've used in the past the bowflex adjustable dumbbells which are fantastic i absolutely love them they're pretty expensive i forget how much they cost but they're pretty pricey but i think they're well worth it as long as you're going to use them they take up minimal space and they allow you to be able to have the freedom to bodybuild wherever you are. You can do a lot with adjustable dumbbells. I also knew and was well aware that I could use resistance bands, right? You can use resistance bands if that's something that you like, but I personally just don't like resistance bands. I don't feel like they give the right tension at the right time. I don't think they give, they promote the most amount of eccentric, even though they do promote eccentric. I don't think that they, they promote the best amount of it at the right times that you need it in any case i just don't like them. many people love them and that's great i'm not putting any 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 of that down i was also looking into the max pro i realized at the time okay max pros off the table or off the bat because it doesn't have any centric phase you're just getting concentric so i know for me i want something that's going to be you know relatively mobile right I want it to have an eccentric phase, so now I'm looking at either adjustable dumbbells or exercise bands. I know I don't want exercise bands, so now I'm looking at the 
the adjustable dumbbells when I came across the handy gym, okay? Now you guys, if you follow the channel, you're well aware I use the handy gym. I love the handy gym. I would highly recommend the handy gym. But the handy gym does have a learning curve to it. Does that mean that you're not capable of enjoying it, using it, getting the most potential that you can out of it? Absolutely not. If I can do it, anybody can do it, okay? It doesn't take a rocket scientist. It's an amazing piece of technology and it's amazing for bodybuilding. You're getting a completely mobile gym in your pocket. I'm literally carrying it in my book bag right now. I don't go anywhere without my gym because I never know when I can take the opportunity to exercise. If I go on a trip and I don't have my tonal, I have something that is absolutely completely portable. It's super small. You can hold it in one hand. It's super light. It only weighs a couple of pounds. The thing has an insane amount of eccentric on it. And it is so powerful, guys. It is so powerful in terms of a bodybuilding capacity, okay? So I personally would recommend to you to get a handy gym. Now, if you don't feel like the handy gym is something you want to delve into because maybe the learning curve might be a bit much or you just don't like that particular flywheel technology type of uh, exercising, I can completely understand that. In my recommendation, I would probably recommend to you what I would have got if the handy gym didn't exist. I would have picked up some adjustable dumbbells, whether that be the power blocks or whether that be the Bowflex adjustable weights, something along those lines. Now, those are gonna be much heavier and much less portable than something like the handy gym, which I'm literally carrying on me right now and you'd never even know it. So keep that in mind. You got, you got to look at the portability of it. That, that's, that's what I look for. What's portable? What's going to be worth my money? Because there's only so much you can do with adjustable dumbbells. They'll get the job done, but that, something like the handy gym is, I, in my opinion, much more versatile. Again, you have something like maybe the X3, the, the high, the heavy duty resistance bands. Guys, I'm not necessarily impressed with the X3 because you're, you're just getting heavy duty bands. That's all you're getting. And the claims that they make, in my opinion on the website, the claims they make should be illegal because they're, they're talking these bands up like, I, I can't even explain to you. If you look at the website, you know. They're talking these bands up like crazy. And honestly, more than 95% of the claims, in my opinion, are just trash. They're just lies. They're over talking this up, thing up. They're hyping this thing up. That's just my opinion. But will they work? Sure, they'll work. They'll do something for you. If you like to body build with bands, they will give you that experience. They're heavy duty. They have a concentric and eccentric phase. Go for it, guys. You're spending a ton of money on bands though. So if that's something that you feel comfortable with, if that's something that you want, if you like that, go for it. But I'll tell you what, even the X3 is gonna be less portable than something like the Handy Gym. So when I look at something, I look at something as a whole. Portability, worth my money, you know, you gotta look at all of the different aspects of what you're doing in order to make a good decision. It also comes down to you as a person. What do you like to train with? What's gonna motivate you? You know what I mean? If I had a, a bunch of uh, resistance bands, I wouldn't be motivated. I like having a machine. I like knowing that that machine is high quality, that it's gonna do what it says it's gonna do with the handy gym. It's super portable, super lightweight, super easy to use once you learn it because you have to give it the time to learn it. Once you learn it, absolutely phenomenal um, and easy to use. You can hook it up anywhere so it's versatile. It's helping you lose weight because it's giving you an insane amount of cardiovascular workout along with an insane amount of bodybuilding potential. So it's given me everything that I could ask for and more. For me, does that mean it's gonna be great for you? No. Not everybody is me. So if you guys want, check out the Handy Gym playlist that I have. I'll also, in the description of every video, I have my discount code to it. Um, 
so you can get 10% off of it if that's something that you want to purchase. If you end up not liking it, you can always return it. But yeah, so that's what I recommend, guys. I would either go with something like a handy gym or honestly, adjustable dumbbells. That's what I would have went for. If I didn't find the handy gym, I would have went for adjustable dumbbells because they take up very, very little space. They are relatively mobile and they'll get the job done. Handy gym is just phenomenal in my opinion. It's super light. It's gonna get the job done and more. It's gonna get the job done quicker than something like an adjustable dumbbell because the amount of eccentric on it is so crazy that it's breaking you down like in, in, in like insane amounts of time. It's breaking you down like crazy. I've discussed that in some of the other videos. So you're saving time, you're getting a full body gym, um, you're building more muscle quicker in less period, you know, less time because of that eccentric phase. Guys, it, it's a no brainer for me, but it depends on what you like. Check out that handy gym playlist. It'll give you a good idea on whether or not this machine will be good for you. I personally love it. That's what I would recommend to you. You guys asked, you want to know what I would recommend? A tonal for home, a handy gym for the go. I would never recommend a Max Pro to you because I don't feel like you're getting what you're spending. You know, the, the money that they're asking for is absurd in my opinion for a machine that won't even allow you to burn out your muscle on, a, on an eccentric phase. It's just insane to me. You're getting half a rep. You're getting a machine that can give you half a rep. It doesn't make sense to me. Does that mean it's a bad product and that's not gonna work for some people? No, it doesn't mean that. I'm sure you have a ton of people out there who love it and that's fine. It's what's gonna help you get the job done. In my opinion, that would not do anything for me. So I cannot recommend that to you. That's what I wanna leave you guys with. I hope this video was helpful. I hope it gave you something to think about. When you look for a piece of, of equipment, to use, whether it be for home or on the go, or both, I recommend you look for something that's gonna be the most versatile, it's gonna give you the most bang for your buck. Guys, if you have the money, I highly recommend you buy a tonal. If you have the money, I also highly recommend you buy a handy gym. Both of these machines have allowed me to be completely covered when it comes to home workouts and mobile workouts. Could you get away with just the handy gym for home and mobile? Of course, absolutely. But I've experienced the tonal and I love having a workstation at home. I have my station with the tonal. When I'm home, I know, okay, this is my workstation. I have a fully capable home gym when I want it. And if I go on vacation or something, or if I'm at work and I wanna work out on the go, wherever I am, no matter what I'm doing, I have my handy gym. And the handy gym, as far as the workout itself goes, it rivals the tonal, guys. It rivals the tonal. The handy gym is much cheaper than the tonal because off the bat, it's just cheaper in general. And you're not tied down to a, a mandatory, you know, monthly subscription. The tonal, you have to pay a mandatory one year monthly subscription uh, membership. So that's something that's ex expensive. You gotta take all this stuff into account. But at the end of the day, guys, it's gonna come down to you, what your workout style is, what you guys enjoy. And the best part about everything, guys, is every single thing that you buy has a money back guarantee. Every single thing, whether that's a handy gym, whether it's a tonal, whether it's a Max Pro, whether it's adjustable dumbbells. If you buy it at the right place, you make sure that they have, that they're a reputable company and they have a money back guarantee, you're golden, guys. You can buy whatever you need, and if you don't like it and it doesn't work for you, you return it for every penny, and then you try the next thing. But in my recommendation, Handy Gym is the way to go. I wouldn't recommend anything else. I haven't seen anything else that catches my eye. Um, but believe me, if I did, I would tell you. I would tell you guys, all right? So if you haven't seen that Max Pro video, check it out. It might be something that helps you to think, open up your mind a little bit in terms of what you'll be getting and what you won't be getting. Check out the Tonal playlist. I have hundreds of videos on the Tonal. It'll give you an amazing idea as to whether or not that machine is good for you or not. As far as adjustable dumbbells go, guys, 
There's no like, I don't think I actually have to do any reviews on adjustable dumbbells because they've been around long enough where you guys know what they are and they're pretty straightforward. You know, I'm pretty sure every single person watching this video has at one point or not used a regular dumbbell or an adjustable dumbbell. So it's basically the same thing. All right guys, so if it's not the handy gym, I recommend adjustable dumbbells. If it's not adjustable dumbbells, I'd recommend something like maybe an X3 or you know any any type of heavy duty weight bands or resistance bands. All right guys, so I hope all is well. Be safe and I'll catch you guys at the next video.